Should you buy a MacBook M2 now or wait for the M3 chip? What is the Apple M3 chip? The next generation of chips from the Cupertino-based technology company is set to be called Apple M3. Back in 2020, Apple Silicon burst onto the scene with the M1 and we've seen some stellar Mac products using the technology ever since. In 2023, Apple's latest M2 Pro and M2 Max provided an iterative boost to what went before, still providing great battery life and strong performance, even when not plugged in. Before the year is out, an even more powerful Apple M2 Ultra should emerge too. Apple Silicon first appeared in 2020, with the M1 series hitting the shelves. Since then, Apple has showcased thin and light devices that don't sacrifice power and manage to offer long battery life. The latest M2 chips came in the form of the M2 Pro and M2 Max. The chips gave a solid boost to the MacBook Pro but didn't represent a huge generational leap. The M2 range could continue to expand before we see the M3, with an M2 Ultra, potentially on a Mac Studio, 2023. Full details of the Apple M3 chip are yet to be revealed, with no announcement yet from Apple themselves. When the chipset will also debut is also unclear but some information has emerged to give us a rough idea. Release dates and price. As per Mark Gurman and his Apple focused power on newsletter, the new Apple M3 chips should arrive late in 2023 or early 2024. Gurman explains that Apple is hard at work on the M3 sporting version of the iMac and MacBook Air. Along with a new 13-inch MacBook Air, a 15-inch model has also been touted. Apple analyst Min Kai Kuo, via 9 to 5 Mac, thinks mass production on the M3 will begin in the second half of this year. This suggests that the new chip will debut late this year or in 2024, matching up with German's predictions. There's no information floating around regarding the pricing of new Macs that will feature the fancy new chip but we can look to Apple's past form for some guidance. Macs tend to either keep the cost the same as the previous generation or introduce a bit of a higher price particularly when there's a bigger change in hardware like the M3 chip bump is likely to be. Specs. The upcoming M3 chips are expected to launch on a 3 nanometer process, a massive improvement on the 5 nanometers process featured in the M2 range. The aim of a smaller process is to bring about better efficiency than the previous chips, which should result in better performance and better battery life. Specs. The upcoming M3 chips are expected to launch on a 3 nanometer process, a massive improvement on the 5 nanometers process featured in the M2 range. The aim of a smaller process is to bring about better efficiency than the previous chips, which should result in better performance and better battery life. According to the information, the new chips in the M3 generation will feature up to 4 dies and this would enable up to a 40-core CPU. This is quite the change from even the higher-performing processor in its current line, the M2 Max, topping out at a 12-core CPU. In the latest Power On newsletter, German claimed that at least one version of the chip in testing has 12 CPU cores, 18 GPU cores and 36 GB of memory. German goes on to say that the CPU is made up of 6 high-performance cores and 6 efficiency cores, which should allow the chip to take on highly intensive tasks while also preserving power for smaller operations. This 12-core CPU chip is running in a future high-end MacBook Pro that apparently comes with macOS 14.0. It's thought that this chip will be the base-level version of what will become the M3 Pro. That suggests that the rumored 40-core CPU model could become the M3 Ultra, but until we get any confirmation from Apple, this is all speculation you should take with a grain of salt. In the Geekbench 5.4 multi-core CPU performance test, the M2 helped the laptop earn a score of 8,911, which is quite good. That's better than the 7,521 score the M1-equipped MacBook Pro earned two years prior. The 13-inch MacBook Pro also trounced many of the best Windows laptops including the Lenovo Yoga 9i Gen 7 with the 12th Gen Intel Core i7-1260 PCPU, 7,150. Outlook I should note that this video is based on reports and leaks about the M3 chip. While folks like Mark Gurman have a solid track record, we can't take what they say as gospel. It seems unlikely Apple will release M3 Max of any kind in 2023, but we can't say for certain. Even if the Apple M3 chip doesn't arrive this year, 
it's a safe bet that the Cupertino-based tech giant will inevitably release a proper successor to the M2 in the future. Because of that, deciding whether to wait for an M3 MacBook or if it's better to get an M2 laptop now is still a relevant question. Even if the Apple M3 chip doesn't arrive this year, it's a safe bet that the Cupertino-based tech giant will inevitably release a proper successor to the M2 in the future. Because of that, deciding whether to wait for an M3 MacBook or if it's better to get an M2 laptop now is still a relevant question. If you're using an older Intel MacBook or want to switch from Windows 11 to macOS, getting an M2 MacBook now wouldn't be a bad idea. And you don't even have to break the bank as the awesome MacBook Air M2 starts at $1,199. As our benchmarks show, it's an overall great laptop. And while the latest MacBook Pros are more expensive, they offer exceptional performance, have vibrant mini LED displays and come with plenty of ports. But if you want what are likely to be the most powerful MacBooks yet, it would be a good idea to wait for the inevitable M3 laptops.